Hi everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your host Arne and Carlos. And today we got an episode on knitting. Uh, we have been doing the what we call the Arne's Cozy Brioche Sweater, which is the one you're wearing. I'm wearing another version it's in another the yarn. Charging the car. Yeah, it's the charging the car sweater. It's a great thing to knit while we are on the road and while we are charging the car. Um, it's a brioche sweater um, and we do the brioche knitting in uh, pieces. Because if you knit brioche uh, in pieces, you never have to purl. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing for us Norwegians. We don't like <laughs> purling, apparently. And then we still invented the Norwegian pearl, go figure. Because that's easy. Yeah. We uh, like everything easy. We like everything easy. Yeah. So we've got um, four pieces of sweater here. We've got this big, this big piece here. And then we've got another big piece over there. And then we've got two pieces that are the sleeves. When you fold these... Um, they look like this. Mm -hmm. These have increases. They look short because it's oversized. Yeah, so and I, I hope sleeve. it will be good on you. I yeah. think it will be. It's a dropped sleeve sweater. But this is more your color than my color. It's a nice color. I really like this pink. Yeah. I can't wear, wait to start wearing the sweater. I can't wait for this one. This is the new one we work in the car now. Yeah. And then this Because one... I need something blue. I've been wearing the gray one for a long time. Mm -hmm. I need blue now. Yeah. And then we started one in the US, which looks like this, and which is going to be because the red one. We want one in every color. One in every color. How many colors do we have? Well, we've got 13 in the Norwegian wool. And this is the Norwegian wool yeah. from Rowan. So this one is the Alpaca Classic. Also from Rowan. We started with Alpaca Classic, then we went over to the Norwegian yeah. wool. Anyway, if you're, in case you're wondering, we, yes, we have a pattern and the pattern is uh, on our website at arnacarlos.com. So go to our website and then go to our web shop and you can purchase the pattern there. Uh, and then there is always that question. I'm sure it's already in the comments field. The question is, can you do this in fisherman's rib? Of course you can, but we do it in brioche. So that's the answer. Yeah. Right? Yes. So <laughs> today we are, uh, so we've shown you the sweater. And today, what we are going to do is we're going to show you, now that all the pieces how are done, attach. how you attach the sleeves to the, to the panels, and then, um, and then it's going to be done uh, afterwards. But we're going to show you how we, we're going to show you the start yeah. of how we do it, and so you can see. And there's probably many different ways to do it, but we like to do it the, the easy, like, way. easy way. You see, I just found out, I saw there was a stitch who was dropped. Hmm. When, so my sister made this one for us to help us. And then we have done all the others. So we just sew it under the, the, the stitches on the, from the bind off and on the side. So, and we also like, you have to check that you sew the right side mm. together, like the, the two right sides yeah. have to face each other. And you yeah. see that on the rib. You see, this is the, the back of the rib, the, the wrong side. And this is the, no, sorry. This is the front and this is the back. And how can you see that? You see it from uh, where the, oh, stitches the stitches goes yeah. like this. That's where the right side yeah. is. And you see, this is yeah. clearly a pearl mm -hmm. side. It's a good question to ask because I'm sure somebody will probably ask. Oops, yeah. So then that is the right side. That's the right side. And then we need the front. And that is the pearl. So that's the right side. So, so now the two right sides are facing each other. And the way we do this, I have to save this one because it was mm. there was one falling off. Just weave in the tail on the side. Take that away. If not, I will be stuck. I leave a little bit. I can sew that later to be sure that it's good. So just start like that. And then what I like to do is I try to match the knit stitches so they, they come towards each other, each other. I'm not always lucky mm -hmm. with that, but I see I can do it on this one. And this is the, just because I have to save a stitch that was falling down. And then I go under the stitches. I know there's, I've seen so many different ways to do this, that people go in in different ways, mm -hmm. but I just do it like this. And then also when you, when you sew this together, it's always good to stretch it out a little bit, because if not, it can be like a puff sleeve on the shoulder. 
Yeah, which could be nice if, if that's the look you're going for. If you but if you're not going for a puff, puff sleeve, then puff. stretch, stretch your sweater. So or stretch your pieces. Yeah, take this out and save that stitch. Good save, Varna. I know. Good save. Good save. And then I go. So it's almost like a, I do it almost like a Kitchener. Mm. So I go under the two legs. I go back under two legs. And then to the next one and back into the first one. Back and forth. Like this. I don't, I'm not going to finish all of it. No. Because that's like uh, watching paint yeah. dry. But if you attach, if you attach a little bit of the, uh, of the shoulder, um, could you also show um, how to attach the sleeve? Yeah. That, I think that would be something useful for everybody the to see. The sleeve can be really hard. See if I... Yeah, not quite, but I can tilt it a little bit. You can, you can um, tweak it so tweak that it, it matches. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then when I put on in the sleeve... And you I, will after we film this, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, I, I, I find the center, put the center on the shoulder like this. I'm checking. So this is the right side, so it should be that way. So the right side facing right side. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you want to avoid having a puff sleeve, this you have to stretch out and mark where you sew it. Mm. So I, will, I never put it like this because then you will have a puff. And you, of course, if you want a puff sleeve, but if not, you stretch it out a little bit. And then I attach it there and then I start sewing from the wanna, center and down. Do you want to attach it? I can attach it in this one. Like this, and then I stretch it out and I place it down there. Because if, if, you, if you get too much puff on the sleeve, it's really hard to take it out later. So that's all you, all you need. You can oh, put okay. in one more. But I think I'd put in yeah. a couple more. Uh, I'm not going to sew it now because it's the same way as on yeah. the shoulder. Because but it's just, just showing, show you, you. showing you all the preparation. Yeah. And what I do then is I measure from the rib and up to the armhole on this side. And then I do the same on this side. So I can put this one in the same spot. Mm. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the last thing I do is I put th this one like that. And then I sew the sleeve and the side. Mm. And then up the sleeve and then on the side. Yeah, and then when you've done that, you just and you have attached the shoulders, you pick up stitches around the neckline and you do a rib like this and mm. that one. And yeah. this is one knit and one pearl. And I do the height that mm. I want, then I knit two together with yarn over. Mm. And then I knit the same height one more time, and then the, the other piece will be folded down yeah. on the back, and then you hide up. The edge. And then the end result is, well actually the result of this is um, a fun sweater to knit because it's a lot of fun doing the brioche. Yeah. It's a lot of fun and it's easy. Huh? So you have a fun time doing that and then when you sew it together you have a nice lovely squishy yeah. cozy and it's, sweater. That it's you can oversized wear. so it's yeah. kind of very comf comfortable. Comfortable to wear. You can wear it around the house but you could actually wear it as well to go out. I mean we wear it all the time now yeah. and we love it so much. You just need another color. Yeah. And it's coming. Mm. New colors are coming. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got uh, we've got the pattern available at arnicardos.com. It comes in, I don't know, I think it's like 10 sizes at least. And because it's oversized, uh, it actually will cater to even more sizes than that. Yeah, um, there's a lot of sizes in one. It yeah, depends on how big you want it. How big or, or how tight you want tight. it. So yeah, this is a really fun sweater to knit and we hope that you enjoy knitting it as much as we do. Um, and now we got you covered with a few tips on how to sew it together in case you were uh, wondering. Um, yeah, Arne. I'm going to finish this now because you're going to wear this. Yeah. Before summer comes. I am going to be wearing this, yeah. And actually, you can do a little bit and then I can take over and I, I can finish it. You can finish it. You yeah. know how to do it. Yeah. I mean, I just learned, so uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, okay, Carlos, that's it. I have nothing more to tell about okay, this Okay, so we hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, and become a subscriber. The Arne and Carlos family is growing and we'd love to have you as part of it. And once you're a subscriber, you can always uh, hit that notification button 
so that you are always notified when we post new episodes and then you'll never miss anything. You'll never miss We an usually episode. post episodes on Sundays and then again on Wednesdays. We've got our live podcast sitting in it for a bit. Usually live, sometimes not live, depending on where we are. Yeah, um, yeah. and the um, email list, the newsletter is one of the best ways to be in the loop. So uh, make sure to go to our website at arnacarlos.com and get on the mailing list. And uh, you can get this pattern and many other patterns at arnacarlos.com in our web shop. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again very soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. All yours. Thank you.